just to kind of recenter the debate, um, the Damoth Amendment, the way that the language would read uh, after assuming it was adopted is it would say all persons shall be guaranteed equal rights and freedom from discrimination. Simple. So if you want all people, all persons, to be guaranteed equal rights and freedom from discrimination, the correct vote is green. Now what we've been told here in this chamber today is that we need to go further than that. We need to delineate all these separate categories in order to ensure that they aren't specially discriminated against because apparently the simple statement that all persons shall be guaranteed equal rights and freedom from discrimination is somehow unclear or undefinitive, doesn't cover everyone, all doesn't mean all. We were told we need to look up in the dictionary what the word all means. I feel like I'm listening to Bill Clinton say it depends on what the definition of is is again. Um, but this is really simple. You, the, I, I do appreciate the deflection to Article 1, Section 16 of the Constitution and representing that as religion is already protected, so don't you worry about it. Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Religion is already protected. But what the underlying bill will do is eviscerate Article 1, Section 16. That's what it's going to do. One of the clauses in there, nor shall any control of or interference with the rights of conscience be permitted. Rights of conscience. We're talking about things like freedom of belief, freedom of expression, freedom of speech, rights of conscience. Earlier we heard a couple of interesting quotes from a member from the majority. Every person has a degree of sexual orientation was one of the statements. Another one was every person has a gender identity. Those are worldview statements that under Article 1, Section 16, I am free to disagree with. If the underlying amendment, the underlying bill, is passed by this body and the other body and ratified and becomes part of the Constitution of the state of Minnesota, the Constitution will be at war with itself because you're going to be imposing that worldview and those worldview statements into the Constitution of the state of Minnesota. And so how do you resolve that conflict that you've just created? My right, everyone's right in here, everyone's right in the state of Minnesota to not have control or interference with our conscience, our rights of conscience. How is that going to resolve within the same document enshrining ideas that millions of Minnesotans fundamentally disagree with and that our faith community fundamentally disagrees with? Don't worry your pretty little head. I, I guess if I was born yesterday, maybe I could take you at your word, but I've been sitting here for the last two years. I watched in the Judiciary Committee hearing on the Human Rights Act as members of our faith community from every religion were denigrated, implied to be bigots, told that their beliefs were wrong, that they were preaching hate. And that didn't just happen. It's bad enough that it happened here. It went on to happen on social media. It was stated in that same committee hearing by one of your members that we're not going to just give you back your religious liberty. We're not going to just give it back to you. We're not going to do that. Which raises interesting questions about why we fixed that language recently. But I think the underlying bill here answers those questions. Because again, you are going to establish in the Constitution of the state of Minnesota worldview statements that are in contrast with and in conflict with the fundamental beliefs, the deeply held religious beliefs of millions of Minnesotans. If the intent here is actually to ensure that all persons are guaranteed equal rights, then the correct vote on the Damoth Amendment is green. 
If that's not the intention, then you'll go red.